I feel like they haven't really capitalized on Metroid stages. They've all been based off of Super Metroid. Yeah. Well, they no, no. Uh, there was the one that was from uh, from Prime, from Metroid Prime. The one that was. Oh, Frigate Orpheon. I, I'm sorry. We we did talk about that earlier. Yep. Yeah. Just Frigate Orpheon, though. I mean, you've got so much to go on in that game series. Yeah. You could well, do so much more. Well, wasn't there? Well, the, I know it was in single player, the one where you like ride on her ship, and then there's Ridley flying around. But I, that wasn't. You, well, you're not riding on her ship. You're riding on Captain Falcon's. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, and so Ridley's this... attacking Captain Falcon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's. Ah, there's not really much. Yeah. Well, no. Brinstar. Brinstar is one. Brinstar. Brinstar Depths. But that's again all super. Super Metroid related. Yeah, I guess. And they've already revealed the Wii Fit Trainer stage. Ah, oh, man, because I was going to say that was something I definitely wanted to see. It's the, uh, it's basically the menu screen from <laughs> Wii Fit. It's the Wii Fit Gym. Uh huh. And I don't know, I really hope that the balance board shows up as a part of it. <laughs> what the hell would it do? I don't know. It'd probably just comment on your weight. <laughs> or it would probably comment on the weight of the combatants. Yeah. Pop up and say something snarky. Well, didn't you say didn't you say something uh where it should it should determine on the percentage. Actually, yeah, that's what it should be. It should determine on the percentage of the character. I mean, like oh. how much damage they've taken. Oh, comment on that. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. That would be hilarious. Be like, hey, you've gotten like 100%. You should probably eat something that will heal you or whatever. You should probably work that off. Yeah. I think they've got a lot of opportunity to expand on a lot of the games, too. I mean, if you look at it, they've already shown one of the Skyward Sword maps, which is a lot like Delfino Plaza, mm -hmm. which I really love Delfino Plaza. Yeah. The idea of a m mobile platform that takes you around the level. Like, that's cool. I feel like with Donkey Kong, they have a lot more to do mm -hmm. because of Donkey Kong Country Returns and now Tropical Freeze. Yep. They've got a lot to build on. So there's a lot of opportunity. If, and they did say that the levels are going to be different depending on which version you have. So if you have the 3DS version, you're going to have more mobile versions of levels. Mobile yeah. games. Yeah. So that's where the Nintendogs level is. That's where the uh, Animal Spirit Crossing. Packs. Well, I don't know. You're probably... You might see a couple of extra Animal Crossing levels. Right. But my guess is you're going to have, like, a base two that are on both. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll have additional ones on handheld. Right. I'm not sure. But every character needs to have a home stage. Yeah, no, I said that's obvious. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to see now it, if they're going to limit on how many characters are going to be because because we brought up last episode about um, you know limitations to characters and how are they going to balance it out between 3ds yeah. and and Wii U. Um, now would that mean? If there's not going to be as many characters, would there be more stages? Like whether if it's more ones that are random, like the Picto Chat ones, or if they're going to be more where it's dedicated to that character. Well, now that you have, now that you have, um, I forget the company, but you've got you've got Namco helping out. I think what you're going to see, you're going to see Sakurai try to pull off all of the crazy goddamn levels that he's always wanted to do, that they've been doing. Mm -hmm. But I think you're also going to have Namco stepping in saying, okay, let's try, to, let's try to appease the competitive crowd and give them more balanced maps. Oh, you mean Capcom? No, Cap it's not Capcom, it's Namco. Oh, okay. And I can see them stepping in and saying, okay, Sakurai, you go make your levels. Make them however crazy and off the wall you want them. That's fine. Mm -hmm. 
But also know that for the home console version, we're going to include more maps that are more competitive. Mm. I can see them doing that, and, and it doesn't matter what they're themed off of. In the end, they could be based off of any game. As long as you have a good, balanced map, the graphical representation doesn't matter. That's all just frosting. Yeah. When it comes down to it, you need to get that strong core mechanic and then put in the fan service. Okay. So I can definitely see them saying, okay, so for the portable, that's more of a single-player experience, so they're not going to really worry about putting in a shit ton of super-balanced maps. Right. I can see them concentrating on the console version as the definitive competitive version. Yeah. And oh, really overloading it with a shit ton of maps. Right. So, like, it's kind of like more... So they would have, like, a single player, if they do have that again, it would be more focused on 3DS, whereas competitive play, not so much, at least on... But, like, for Wii U, it'd be the other way around. Yeah, yeah, that that that's what I'm thinking. They did say that there is going to be a single-player component, but it isn't going to be on the scale of, say, the subspace emissary. Oh. It, or at least it's not going to be structured the same. I love the subspace emissary. I yeah. thought that was phenomenally done. Yeah. But I, if, if they do something like that, oh, of course, multiplayer is going to be there in the 3DS version. Right. Don't. Don't doubt that. It's a Smash Brothers game. It yeah. needs four-player multiplayer. Well, yeah, no, I wasn't saying that they should not have it in there. Oh, yeah, I, I just don't think that the levels will lend themselves to a tournament-type scenario. I think that the console version, the Wii U version, they're going to have to leverage more toward that tournament aspect. Mm -hmm. Because whether or not Sakurai likes the idea, it is a tournament brawler. It is there. They release this, and if they do it right, it will get its way into tournaments. That's how you build a lasting competitive game. Right. If they get it to a point where tournaments can easily use 90% of the maps, or just flip a switch within the game settings, switch it to competitive mode, and mm -hmm. that limits what maps you can use, mm -hmm. that'd be the best. That way they don't have to keep a list and individualize it, so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we do have someone on the chat here who did comment on uh, give their input on stages, and he says uh, I, ha I just have to say that it was while it was cool, Final Destination was way too overplayed for me. Now, I think that is obvious, but that was probably because uh, that person might have been with the, the really competitive crowd that wanted to you know, uh, play it for more competitive reasons instead of, you know, like us, where we're just, we just want to jump in, dick around, laugh, laugh a bunch, and then fucking move on. Yeah, I mean, the uh, Final Destination, I, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good level, don't get me wrong. It is the most balanced level, because it is just a flat plane. Right. And for me... It's kind of boring, but it is it is a lot of fun, especially when you play as much Rob as I do. You can just fucking laser beam <laughs> assholes all the way across the level. It's great. It's just, yeah, it's completely overplayed. I can play that maybe a couple of times in a session, mm -hmm. and, but then that's my fill. Right. Yeah, I mean, we've... I mean, hell, we had people in college who who were the really competitive players, and they, you know, oh, they ever, thought they were. <laughs> well, yeah, or, yeah, or thought that they were. And, but yeah, there were a lot of times where they were like, "No, it has to be Final Destination." It's like, man, come on, can't you just can't you just have some fun while you play this game? What's fun? <laughs> yeah, I know What's they saying? fucking s switch off items and shit. And come on, that's not how the game was meant to be played. Yeah, and you know that Final Destination's going to be back. You know that, uh, oh shit, what's the other one? Battlefield? Yeah, it's yep. Battlefield is the other one. Like, Battlefield has already been shown, and I really like what they're doing with it. But really, all they can do to change those is to change the graphical look. Yeah. And I'm okay with that. I really liked what they did with Final Destination and Brawl. It was much more interesting than the Melee one. Mm-hmm. Because you had to travel through the cosmos and all of that neat shit. 
And so it's like okay, right. All right, well, that's about yeah, it, it for me anyway. Does does anyone have anything else that they would like to discuss in the chat? Hit us up. We're watching. We're watching the chat. We're watching you. We are watching. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I not, not not creepily, maybe. I mean, we don't know. <laughs> maybe. Uh, but yeah, uh, so next week we will be back at about this time. Yep. Roughly. Okay, yeah, Sunday's 4 o'clock-ish. Yeah, that sounds fine mm -hmm. to me. <laughs> Whenever we get the chance to. And yeah. we'll talk about a, another element of Smash Brothers. We normally figure this out about five minutes before we go on air. <laughs> so yeah. Fun for everybody. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh. Uh, yes, the void does indeed stare back. <laughs> and that is why I always fucking die on that goddamn stage half the time I get lost. <laughs> in, case of, in, case, in case of anyone isn't seeing this, uh, one of the people who said, they say if you stare long enough into the void, the void begins to stare back. Yes, I... It's Jay Fiasco. Yes, I, I agree with that completely, because I sometimes get lost in that void and... And then next it's, thing I know, I'm. It's I'm two a very lives pretty down. stage. Don't get me wrong. Final <laughs> Destination on Brawl is fucking gorgeous. Right. Can't wait to see what they do with it on Wii U in HD. Yeah. Oh Christ. Anyway. So join us next week when I believe our topic will be items. Items. Yes. Let's talk about items. <laughs> Let's Which talk about items. Well, we are not <laughs> going to talk about the Final Smash, by okay. the way. All right, fair enough. That will be its own episode. All right. Final Smashes are going to be their own goddamn thing. Fair Let's enough. talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, thank you. Signing off from the Smashcast. Thank you, Smash everyone. Th be sure to check out our website, Utterly Geek. That's U-T-T-L. No, wait, sorry. You suck at fucking spelling. Fuck U you. E R L Y G 3 3 K. That's 3 3 K. Yes. Leave comments when we post them up. Uh, yeah, and that's about it. Mm. That way, leave some comments and we'll we'll answer them here. Stay tuned. We're going to be playing some bullshit. <laughs> Yay!